obviously know about the Citadel, but what do you know about Bucknell and Virginia Tech? Well, I, I don't know as much about them. Obviously, I did get a chance to see Virginia Tech on TV the last few days. And, um, know about their personnel pretty good. Uh, Bucknell, just since we found out we were playing them, we've done a little research. Be a lot more to come. Skipper, you've been in these wars, obviously. I mean, it's, it's on paper how many times you've been to this part of the season. How do you feel about the, the, the character and makeup of this team as a, as a tournament team? I think it's good, and, and I, I think that you know what I'm most concerned about is us. Um, you know when, you know the the build up to the announcements today and those kind of things, that doesn't affect me a whole lot. I'm more concerned about what we do and who we are, and we've been a pretty good team all year long. We pitch, we play defense. Our hitting has been timely and sometimes untimely, and that's what we've been fighting a little bit lately. So I'm more concerned with with how we play. You can't get too concerned with who you play. Uh, because you, you're going to get some scouting reports, but I think it's more important that you focus on what your guys do and try to do the things that you've done to get you here and then hope it'll be good enough. Kind of like what you said yesterday. Is it just good to know you'll be here? Yes, it is. I, I mean, I, I like the fact that, you know, this is a great environment for college baseball. It's a tremendous venue. I know that uh, the teams that are coming in here are excited to come. I, I've talked to Coach Jordan a couple of times already. Um, I know he made the comment that he didn't want to come here, but that being said, I, he, he, he said that really because of the familiarity and the fact that, you know, we play all the time and we go there, they come here. It, it might not have a great NCAA feel. Their guys don't go to a new city. They don't go to a different venue and that kind of thing, but um, it, it'll be a great environment for NCAA regional. What else did you guys talk about? Well, we, we talked about a few things. So. You know, I had to ask him some questions about his past tournament. Things that happened. You know. I, had to, I had to get my, I had to check on him, make sure he was physically, I had to make sure that he was going to be able to throw some batting practice and things were good. Have you thought about uh, your pitching rotation yet for the weekend, and, and has the pairings changed your thoughts at all? Well, yeah, there's been some discussions. I met with uh, Blake Cooper a little bit earlier today. We chatted it up about uh, you know his status and where he was right now physically, how he felt. Talked with Dyson a little bit yesterday. Um, the thing that's kind of holding us back right now, Coach Cowie had a, uh, an extensive recruiting trip the last few days, and, and he, he, he didn't make it back yet. He's um, traveling back as we speak. So uh, we're, we're not, I'm not going to make any decision until I sit down with him. I guess the natural tendency when a team struggles at the plate is to maybe press. You feel like having a week off maybe takes the steam out of that concept? Well, yeah, I think that it does. And then again, you know, I used the word perspective yesterday. You know, we, we got stuck a little bit in the Florida series. We had some runners on. We got a few hits, really not timely. You know, I sort of got past that because of the depth of Florida's bullpen and the quality of pitchers that they had. I sort of I sort of was able to digest that and move on. I was okay. Well, then we go to the tournament, we faced Pomerantz, which if you look at hits per innings pits that he encounters, there's not a lot of those. So that was the wrong guy for us to see that day. And then Auburn got us pretty good, and then Auburn's bullpen guy was outstanding. So it kind of, it got to me a little bit. But, you know, that being said, we faced some quality people, and we didn't do, do well enough. Now, you move, you move past that. But we've had some pretty good offense the entire year. Not great, but we've had enough to, to win 40, 43 games, I guess it is. And um, so we got to get back to that. Score seven or eight runs a game, whatever we score seven, maybe. Something like that. we got to get back to our average. Do you get the sense that they've moved past that mentally? from the I, I get the sense that they have. I, I got the sense from them that it was time for me to get past it. That's the sense I got from those guys the last few days. So, and that's good. That's good. I um, it was a little frustrating for me, and I was irritated by that. I, I don't, uh, I don't like being, you know, one of the first two teams sent home for the tournament. That didn't, that didn't sit well with me, and uh, it took me a little longer to get, get past it. But I think the players have moved on. Do you think about monkeying with the lineup, maybe? Who you play first base? Uh, maybe a little bit, but not so much about why, you know, the last uh, week where we haven't scored runs, really. I'm not thinking about it from that standpoint. I'm thinking about it more from a 10 or 15 game span where I've looked at, we've done some research, 
that some of our guys have been a little bit quiet. You know, we got four or five guys that have been a little bit quiet in the last 10 or 15 games. For those reasons, it might be time to, to try to get another guy in there that may, maybe has a little bit more offensive potential. Right, even with that, does this offense have to have production from Wingo and Nine and then with leading off, just as those kind of tables up? Makes us a better team, no question about it. Even when Wingo's numbers were really good, and I thought about moving him up. I, I think I did it one day. It, it, it's better for us when we have the, the, the two-headed leadoff guy down there. So that that's, um, you know, when Wingo's going good, that makes a lot of difference. His, his on-base percentage is up. And it's been down a little bit lately. So now that's one of the issues. We, we don't have a, I mean, we're not hitting three, 335, 345 as a team like, uh, you know, Auburn or some of the top hit teams in the country. We're hovering around 300. So it's important for us to, to get production and on base percentage from some guys. How do you combat that when we go kind of going through a slump like he is now? Well, I think you have to make a decision. Do you keep him in there? Do you get him out? If you keep him in there, then you maybe have to go another way with somebody else that's struggling a little bit and go offensive somewhere else. That, those are some things we've got to think about before the end of the week. I know your vision's cast very immediately, but you know now, right, that you don't have to leave the state. If you go to Omaha, is that a good thing at all? I, I think it could be for sure, but um, I'm just thinking about Button Hill right now. Um, you know, they're a team that has played well down the stretch. They had a, you know, just an okay conference season. Then they go to the fourth seed. They go on the road. They win. They go on the road again and they win again. Um, they're playing well at the right time. We got a guy with 20 homers. Got a guy with 17 homers. They picked up the baseball. I think they're field 972, 973. So there's some reasons that they've been able to win. And especially down the stretch, so I'm, I don't get I don't get too far ahead of myself. I'm just worried about what they present on Friday. Was there at all kind of held breath, wondering if Clemson might be put here? I, again, I, I I I didn't I don't worry about that too much. I I'm more concerned with what we do, and we're gonna we're gonna play some. It's postseason time. You're gonna play some good teams. You're playing somebody who won their conference or or an enlarged team that had a good enough resume to get in. Um, I, I talked to Coach Lee, I talked to Coach Jordan, um, talked to Coach Toma, I talked to some guys the last few days, and certainly Clemson was a possibility, uh, but it wouldn't have made any difference. We might have sold a few more tickets, but uh, other than that, it wouldn't have made any difference. Do you think it will help 